For many people, the word blood causes anxiety and fear because of horror films and the instinct of self-preservation. But let's imagine blood as the most unique and precious fuel on the planet. You probably know there are four blood types, A, B, AB, and O. If your blood cells have the protein, you're Rh positive. If your blood doesn't contain the protein, you're Rh negative. But what does it mean? And who even devised the idea to divide it into several types? Let's find out. For the first time, people have learned about blood groups only at the beginning of the 20th century. Before that, doctors believed that all blood was the same in all people and animals. In the middle of the 17th century, doctors began transfusing blood for the first time to save lives. Some of these operations were successful, but there were also many cases when one person's body didn't accept another person's blood. In the late 1800s, doctors mixed the blood of different patients in a test tube and noticed that red clots began to appear there. They didn't pay attention to this. But later, Dr. Carl Landsteiner thought it was important. He began to conduct his own research in which he separated red blood cells from the plasma of one person and added them to the plasma of another. Landsteiner noticed that the thickening occurred during the mixing of certain people's blood. He began to conduct experiments by mixing blood and monitoring which blood thickened and which didn't. In general, blood thickness is a danger during transfusion. If a person gets another blood group, then soon these blood clots will appear in their blood vessels, interfering with normal blood circulation. In simple words, you can't recharge your iPhone with an Android phone wire. Only in the case of humans, such discrepancies lead to disastrous results. After many years, scientists found out that the difference in blood types was in the number of molecules on the surface of red blood cells. For example, the B blood type molecules consist of two parts. The first one is called an H antigen, and the second is an A antigen. Type O blood has only one part with an H antigen. When your immune system notices that someone else's blood starts circulating in your body, it drives your body's defenses crazy. There's also another blood type, golden. The name of its group is Rh null. And this blood can be suitable for absolutely anyone since it doesn't have H and A antigens on red blood cells. The immunity of someone else's body won't react to it in any way since it adapts perfectly to any blood. This blood can replace any type except its own. People with the Golden Group need transfusion from the same people, and that's the problem. About 50 people with the Rh Null Group have been found in the world. This blood appeared as a result of a mutation in the human genome, and this genome causes some diseases. One of them is the rapid destruction of red blood cells, that is, a person experiences gaps in the transport of oxygen through the body. Such blood can save a lot of lives, but it gives certain inconveniences to those who have it. But why is people's blood so different? One naturopath, Peter Didamo, made a suggestion in his book. He believes that blood types depend on evolution. For example, blood type O appeared in our hunter-gatherer ancestors who lived in Africa. Group A appeared when agriculture was created. Group B appeared in the Himalayas about 10 to 15,000 years ago. And group AB is a mixture of groups A and B. Our blood was formed based on nutrition. The O group was formed in hunters as they ate meat. Group A was formed because people ate plant foods. He also suggested following a diet based on blood type. Someone should eat more meat, and others should be a vegetarian. But further research on this topic has shown that such a diet is meaningless. And here are some more facts about our blood. Almost 7% of your body weight consists of blood. In addition to red blood cells, there are white blood cells. These ones fight diseases and heal damaged tissues. In general, these are the cells of our immune system and are formed in the bone marrow. Also, the bone marrow produces platelets. These particles clot the blood and stop the bleeding. 
All these particles have different lifespans. Red blood cells live for about four months. Platelets are updated every nine days. And white blood cells can live from several hours to several days. Your immunity directly depends on the state of the bone marrow. Besides blood cells, the red liquid consists of plasma. Blood plasma transports proteins, antibodies, salts, enzymes, trace elements, and water. If you've eaten a lot of fast food and drank a bottle of soda, your blood gets fat and sugar. Plasma spreads these elements throughout the body. White, red, and platelet blood cells always perform the same function. But if harmful substances spoil the blood plasma, then the work of blood cells worsens. When blood passes through the kidneys, it's cleared of bad elements. Kidneys are like water filters. They filter about 50 gallons of blood daily. Also, they regulate the production of red blood cells in the human body and measure the level of oxygen. Blood pressure is the pressure that blood exerts on the walls of your vessels. It can increase if the vessels narrow. Also, if your heart is working fast, it accelerates the flow of blood, which also adds pressure on the vessels. The blood donation market in the US brings in about $4.5 billion a year. And the first blood bank opened in 1936 in Chicago. Every two seconds, someone in the world needs a blood transfusion. Every eight minutes, someone gives blood. And just one pint of blood can save three lives. Almost every seventh patient in the hospital needs a blood transfusion. To donate blood, you need to go through a medical examination and tests. In simple words, your blood should be clean from diseases. If you donate blood, your body will replenish this reserve within a few hours. But filling the number of red blood cells in the body will take about four weeks. To restore the amount of iron, you will need eight weeks. That's why it's not recommended to donate blood twice within two months. People in Japan believe that blood type is an indicator of personality. Therefore, you can find different products suitable for your blood type. It can be drinks, books, movies, and anything. It's a bit like a horoscope. And in the Japanese version of Facebook, there's an additional description for profiles, a blood type of users. Some medications may change the color of your blood slightly. It can acquire a greenish black color. Also, the color of your blood can be affected by the food you eat. About 160,000 gallons of blood deteriorate each year because of non-use. The shelf life of blood is 42 days. The circumference of our planet is 25,000 miles. If you put all the blood vessels in the body in one line, their length will exceed the Earth's circumference by 2.5 times. Not all living organisms have red blood. Crustaceans, spiders, squids, and octopuses have blue blood. Worms and leeches have green. Beetles and butterflies and other insects have colorless or pale yellow blood. Humans and mammals have a red color, thanks to a respiratory pigment protein used to transport oxygen through the circulatory system. In humans, this protein is hemoglobin, contained in red blood cells. Many metals can be found in human blood, such as iron, chromium, manganese, zinc, lead, and copper. But the most incredible thing is that a small amount of gold flows through our veins. All these metals are necessary for the normal functioning of our body.